Activities have always been one of the main defining features of the Saints Row series. They tend to spice up the gameplay in remarkable ways and create countless hours of fun. With such classics like Insurance Fraud, Crowd Control, and Professor Genki's Super Ethical Reality Climax, you'd be surprised to learn just how many activities were left on the cutting room floor. This is Mr. Saints Godzilla 21, and today we'll be taking a look at the history of cut Saints Row activities. For this video, we'll be focusing on cut activities from the main entries to the series. We'll also be excluding diversions so you won't be seeing undercover snitch activity or the removed turf wars from Saints Row 2. With that said, let's begin. Surprisingly for the first Saints Row game, very little is known about its removed activities. One we do know, however, is called Hokemon. Other than its name being a spoof of Pokemon, the activity played quite similar to Snatch. Your main objective would be the battle pimps and steal their hoes. It was rumored to be more melee based, so it's easy to see how it evolved into the Snatch we know in the final game. Moving on to Saints Row 2, the game has a total of six known cut activities, the most popular of which is Piracy. From the little that's left of the activity in the data files, we know the player would've used a shark to board cargo ships to steal laptops and sex dolls. After fighting off some guards and obtaining the target object, police with a variant of the Miami would pursue you until you reach the drop-off point. With every level, more police and helicopters would ambush the player. Piracy was so far along in development that audio for its two cutscenes was actually recorded. You Geo? You hear about the Meg's list, Dad? Yeah. What do you need picked up? I got some contraband floating out there that I need brought in. What are we talking about? Guns? Drugs? Dolls. What? Drew girl dolls. You're smuggling inflatable sex toys. Well, they're not really inflatable. They're more made of latex. Just stop. I get the fucking dolls. You're just in time. The plane made the drop a little bit ago. What are you talking about? Every month we donate medical supplies to various humanitarian efforts in third world countries. I don't see what you talk... Of course, donating those supplies is a huge tax write-off for us, but we would really like for the whole process to be a little more profitable. It's a little hard to profit from charity. Well, that's why we decided to jettison some of the medicine from the cargo plane mid-flight. Excuse me? We dump a portion of the promised medicine, you go pick it up and sell it for money, insurance compensates us for the loss, and everybody wins. Except the people who are expecting the medicine. Look on the bright side, it's not like you needed it. Next, we have hijacking. This activity was actually introduced in Saints Row 1, so we know exactly how it plays. Each level has you chase down a marked vehicle where you then have to carjack it and return it to a garage. It isn't the most original activity, but the later levels did offer a good challenge. It's speculated that hijacking was removed because it was too similar to the more popular Chop Shop Diversion. Much like Piracy, the activity was far enough along to have its cutscene audio finished. I heard you got yourself blown up. I did. Well, you're pretty spry for a corpse. Be fair, I'm just a burn victim. What you need? You still need people to jack cars for you? Hell yeah! With the rollers out of commission, I was able to move in on their overseas deals. I'm always looking for cars to move. So I got the job? For you, I'll even skip the background check. Hiya! <laughs> what the fuck is going on? Hello. We're having a meeting. I don't have meetings with people who can't get into R-rated movies. Okay, no need to be rude. Just hear me out. Get to the point. Okay, like my birthday is totally coming up, and I want cars. <laughs> so ask your daddy for one. I don't think you're getting me. I don't want a car. I want cars. Plural. And you're going to get them for me. Right, because you're almost my niece. Fuck off. No one talks to me that way. Evidently, you're wrong. <sighs> okay, this isn't going well. You're a smart kid. Let's start over. I have my daddy's black card. How many cars you said you wanted? The files also indicate that piracy was originally going to replace hijacking before both were ultimately dropped from the game. Another cut activity was Human Torch. We first learned of it in Scott Phillips breathing life into an open world GDC lecture. From the gameplay, it appears to be a hybrid of trailblazing and streaking. Your objective would be to catch as many people on fire as possible within a given time limit. From one of the old beta maps, we know Human Torch was originally in place of trailblazing. We also see in Greg Donovan's Vertical Slice GDC that Human Torch was one of the earlier activity concepts. It's likely the devs found Human Torch to not be entertaining enough, so they eventually evolved the activity into the trailblazing we know today. In fact, Human Torch's complete screen was even reused for trailblazing. If you're familiar with Saints Row III's Guardian Angel activity, it might interest you to know that it was originally going to be in Saints Row 2. 
Not much is known from the incomplete files left over in the game, but what we do know is it would have functioned much like the third. You would escort a VIP across the city from the side chopper while fending off waves of enemies. The only thing we're not sure of is if there was going to be a similar sniper segment. Because of the complexity of the activity, there would have been only one level per location instead of six. You also wouldn't be protecting a saint's lieutenant, but either an ambassador or crooks escaping from a bank heist. Guardian Angel also has its cutscene audio in the files. I am pleased you could make it. Wang Shentai spoke very highly of you. Did Wong also tell you I don't work for free? <laughs> of course. But before we discuss payment, perhaps we should speak of what I would have you do. If you were talking to Wong, it probably has to do with killing some motherfuckers. This isn't about simple murder. Several ambassadors are arriving to Stillwater for a summit. It is imperative that these... Killing the ambassadors won't be a problem. I don't want you to kill them. You lost me. These men and women need to be protected from people like you at any cost. I will pay you handsomely to ensure their safe travel. Oh. Is there a problem? I was just hoping to, you know, kill some dignitaries, but don't worry, this will be fun too. This place looks a lot different when I'm not robbing it. Fancy that. Just because I've knocked this place off before doesn't give you the right to be bitchy. I'm pretty sure you're wrong. You really want to tell someone with a gun they're wrong? No. But I was thinking, how about you earn money by working for us rather than just robbing us? Does it look like I do retail? No offense, but you think I'd let you near the register? No, we'd contract you out. Doing what? A courier is bringing us some non-conflict diamonds, and people are willing to kill for stones they know were mined without any bloodshed, so I need... Wait, they're willing to kill? The irony isn't lost on me. Anyway, I need you to make sure the courier delivers the goods to us safely. Which means, what? Watch from a distance, and if anyone comes near the courier, put them down. Deal. But I can't promise you anything about not robbing your store once you have the diamonds in hand. We'll take our chances. If you compare the leftover code to the Corporate Warfare DLC, it's very possible that elements from this activity were recycled for the mission Traffic Control. It's unsure why Guardian Angel was cut, but I assume it was either too complex to finish or was simply too repetitive. Plus, Heli Assault was always the better version of the activity anyways. These next two activities were both revealed during Greg Donovan's Vertical Slice GDC presentation. The first one doesn't have a name, but it appears to be a combination of mayhem and driving the Ken around. There's very little to go off of here, but if you play around with the Ken Free Roam, you'll probably get an idea why the activity was cut. Next is by far the most disheartening activity to see removed. Happy Fun Ball would have had the player controlling a wrecking ball, with the main objective being to demolish homeless shacks and run down vehicles. From the activities on screen prompts, it appears that you would have had a time limit and the wrecker could be damaged. Either the wrecking ball had a certain amount of health, or enemies could attack the wrecker itself. Before we move on from Saints Row 2, I thought I might as well mention an activity that wasn't cut but had a lot of removed objectives. Fuzz was already quite wild with pirate ninja battles, steroid drug deals, and postal mail carriers, but it could have been even more over the top. Thanks to SaintsRowMods.com user in Pulse of the Sword 2007, we can restore the cut objectives and check them out for ourselves. Some of these restored goals include stopping a child predator, preventing a celebrity assassination, and ending a militia uprising. It's been stated that these objectives were cut because they were considered too controversial. Compared to some of the things you can see in games today, I don't think they had rustled too many jimmies. For Saints Row the Third, a lot of the info we know is merely hearsay, so please take these next two activities with a grain of salt. With that said, fuzz and crowd control were apparently cut from the game. The only evidence we have for crowd control is a few lines of code within the files, but they may have just been left over from Saints Row 2. Some have theorized that the code from the activity was reworked into the Trouble with Clones mission where you defend Pierce from fans. Sure, you use a B-gun to fend the people off, but the setup is very reminiscent to the activity. Fuzz has a little more credibility thanks to leftover files, content in the game, and dev comments. Apparently, with the new engine, it made it impossible to code in the activity, so Fuzz was broken down and remade into one of the survivals. There's even unused code to indicate you'd protect a cameraman during the diversion. That's basically it for Saints Row the Third, but there are some overlaps with Saints Row 4. Since the game began production as the Enter the Dominatrix DLC before becoming a numeral sequel, there's quite a few unused files that reference it. One such reference is a line of code for a cut activity called Lin's Revenge. Originally in the Enter the Dominatrix, there was a mission where you'd save Lynn from William Sharp. Once it was completed, you would unlock the activity. From the leftover code, it shows that Lynn's Revenge would have been a variation of Escort. 
Instead of a pleasure meter though, you'd have to build up Sharp's fear. It isn't mentioned, but I believe Sharp would be in the trunk of the vehicle while Lin would sit in the passenger seat. One line of code also mentions that pursuing vehicles will stop Sharp's fear. They would have likely been West Side Rollers rather than the regular news vans. And lastly, there's lines of code for Tiger Escort, but it was more than likely just left over from St. Tro the Third. And there you have all the known cut activities from the St. Tro series. Some of these were understandably removed, while others might have been a worthy addition to the roster. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the video. I'd like to give a special thanks to Discord users Mega Freeman, BD DeWanger, F13, and Slick for helping me with research. And of course, I'd like to give a shout out to my Patreon sponsors John, Jordan Flattery, KAM, and Scissor. Also, this Sunday will be the 10th anniversary that I first discovered Saints Row. For the occasion, I'll be streaming some Saints Row 2 and reminiscing about my history with the series. If you'd like to come by and ask some questions, you can tune in at 5pm Pacific Time. Like always, thank you for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.